Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. Today I'm continuing with my Madonna music video journey and we have made it to the 1990s. 1990 when Madonna released her music video for Vogue, which is directed by David Fincher. Now, if you know me, you know that I absolutely love David Fincher. He is my favorite movie director of all time. I just have so much praise for that guy. He is remarkable when it comes to directing. And I love him, and this video, I imagine, will be no exception. It is a black and white video recreating the glamorous look of old Hollywood, which I absolutely love, with men in suits and Madonna dressed in gowns. It also displays the dad's form called Vogue, which I don't know how to Vogue. When I did my first listen video to her I'm Breathless soundtrack album, I remember trying to Vogue to the song Vogue, and I did it horribly. A lot of you commented that I didn't know how to Vogue, and I tried my best, and to this day, I still don't know how to Vogue. So if you guys know how to Vogue, if someone out there knows how to Vogue, can you please teach me how to Vogue? Because I would love to know. So enough talking, let's get into the music video for Vogue. 117 million views, which means this is quite the popular Madonna music video. Also, there is the Vogue Live at the MTV Awards 1990, which I definitely need to check out one day. It looks, you know, the thumbnail alone is making me curious. And then we have the Super Bowl medley 2012. Now, I forget if I've actually seen her Super Bowl performance. This was back in 2012, so I don't know if I was working that weekend. I don't recall seeing it. I remember seeing bits and pieces of it uh, the day after when people were, in particular news stations, they were highlighting the best parts. I remember seeing clips of the performance, but I don't think I've ever seen the whole performance in full. So again, definitely I'm going to have to check out her Super Bowl performance in full down the line. <laughs> So glamorous, every single second so far has been glamorous. So sexy. I just love how luxurious her movements are. Such a diva. See, I wish I could do that. <laughs>
Yes. I love the little nudge there. Oh, I love that smile there. The clothes are coming off. Oh, 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 oh. David Fincher, once again, you have taken my breath away. What? A glamorous, beautiful music video. I loved every second of it. It was so artistic, so expressive. It was art. It was essentially art. This is the music video in its purest art form. I wish music videos today were made like this because it's so glamorous. It's just every second. This music video just reeks of glamour and luxury and high fashion art, everything. And I'm a guy who likes to dress up. I like to do my hair, I like to wear a tie, I like to wear a tux, a suit, nice dress shoes. And I can really appreciate the guys in this music video because they're dressed to the nines, they look so dapper, and even Madonna, this is honestly the best she's ever looked. Just. I have no words. And after watching this music video, it definitely cements the idea of me wanting to learn how to Vogue. I don't know why I slapped my chest there. Anyway, um, how can you not want to learn how to Vogue after watching that music video? It's full of life, it's full of energy, and uh, not only is Vogue one of my favorite Madonna songs of all time, but now, officially, the music video for Vogue is one of my favorite Madonna music videos of all time. One of my favorite parts of the music video was when, in particular, at the beginning of the video, everyone was frozen. Everyone was posing, standing still. It's like they were pieces of art in a museum, and the camera was padding its way through them, and it was just very... Glabrous. So what did you guys think of the music video, especially when you saw it for the first time? Did you see it for the first time way back in 1990? What was that like? What were people saying? And I will say I am quite tempted to watch her live at the MTV Awards 1990 performance, which I don't know, I was thinking of saving for another video, but I feel like since I'm here... You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Wow, look at that outfit.
Yeah. I love those fucking fans. <laughs> I just realized half of them aren't even wearing pads. What the? We'll all be damned. Who else gets carried off stage on a chase lounge after performing? 
at the MTV Awards. No one else but Madonna. That performance encompassed everything that the song was. And the music video, it was so luxurious once again. And Victorian, I loved the outfits. It's something you don't see every day, obviously, at an award show. And she was definitely pushing the boundaries with what someone could do at an award show. It was just so mesmerizing to watch, and one of my favorite parts of the performance were those stupid little fans. I loved them so much. I loved the sound they made when they were open, when she went Psh! And hey, who knows, if more people performed like this at award shows, maybe more people would watch in 2020. I know award shows aren't doing too well anymore. A lot of people aren't watching them anymore, but if there were performances like this, then I imagine lots of people would start watching again. So what did you guys think of her MTV performance of Vogue? Maybe you watched it for the first time live when she was performing it on TV. So I think that's all I wanted to say on Vogue, the music video and her performance. You, uh, we are starting off the 90s with a bang, and I feel like going forward into the 90s, it's only going to get better. I mean, we still have Erotica. Now, Erotica is one of my favorite Madonna albums of all time. And then a Bedtime Stories, and then the Vita, Ray of Light. I mean, there's still so much to get into for the 90s, so... Put on your seatbelts. So now that we're done with Vogue, we will be moving on to Justify My Love from 1990. And then after that, this used to be my playground. So what I'm thinking of doing is combining Justify My Love and This Used To Be My Playground together. Because after This Used To Be My Playground comes Erotica. And I don't know how I feel about watching This Used To Be My Playground and then Erotica. I feel like it's not right. So that's why I'm choosing to watch Justify My Love and then This Used To Be My Playground in the same video. If you guys don't want me to do that, I won't leave your suggestions, but that's what I'm thinking of doing. So thanks for watching, guys. You can find me on Instagram, you can find me on Twitter, you can message me, you can tell me other artists, I should check out, I'm open to any artists from any decade, you can find me on Apple Music, you can check out my playlist, you can find me on TikTok, and yes. So take care, guys. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you next time. Keep voguing.